What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we're back playing Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. We've entered the Earth Temple. Alright, Midley, let's try this out. Let's see how well you fly! Oh, jeez. There she goes, hit her head on things again. Alright, let's try this one more time. How about from down here? Yeah. Huzzah. Woohoo! Puzzle solved! Take that, Temple! Get on my level! Hero of time and all that nonsense. Alright, you know what? I can fly too, so don't get, don't get too uppity, you know. In fact, I made it on the first try. Alright, come here. We're going through the temple doors. Yep, these doors open left to right rather than uh, up and down so you can actually uh, you fit through with people on your head. Get out of my face, you moblin! Fall off the edge, fall off the edge. Oh, yep, there he goes. <laughs> I can go off the edges. It's just so satisfying, these old games. Money! Yes, we're getting rupees again. Feels good. Hey, you! Take a nice gust from my leaf! Ooh, one a combo. That's efficient. Do, do, do. Take that, thank you. Alrighty. Yeah, look at the health bar. This is what the hero's charm does. So you can tell how close they are to being defeated. It's nice. I like it. You guys are right. It does make Link look really ugly. It's, it's not a very attractive item on his face. But, ah, got it. The, uh, it is useful. <laughs> I mean, you gotta grant that. It's being able to see how much health they have left is nice. Honestly, it doesn't really help that much because the alternative is just you just keep hitting them until they die. Which is pretty much the, the usual Zelda pattern. It's not like you have to choose between which attack you're going to use. Well, Poncho, I'm not very confident, but I think I should try to fly. I'll fly where you're telling me to. Just tap A to keep me airborne. Okay, whenever you're ready, just use the Wind Waker to guide me. Wow, she actually asked me. She must not realize what's about to happen. <laughs> oh boy. Prepare to be possessed. Alright, I'll just put her down here. Let's do this. God, how does this song go? <laughs> Yep, there we go. Try to remember these. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, I like the swirly camera we just got. And now he's... Air massaging? What is that? Okay. Huzzah! Now this little meter here is her flight meter. Because she gets tired, so you can't have her flying forever and ever. She needs to go over here, I believe. Because we have two buttons to push. So you tap the A button, she flies up and forward. Boom. Return. Alright, now I... Oop! Poncho, I'm feeling a bit more confident now. I'm not sure how high I can fly while carrying you, Poncho, but I'll do the best that I can. Just pick me up and jump, okay? Oh. Well, that would probably be better than me trying to use my leaf from here. <laughs> Come back over here. I mean, the leaf is more for gliding than flying, and you can never really make it onto a platform that's already higher than where you're starting from. So, oh, oh, fly, fly! <laughs> Sorry. I thought, I thought if you stopped tapping it, she would just glide, but she just stops flying. <laughs> okay. Alright, quit air massaging and pick up the bird girl. Here we go! That was cool. And she carries us just the right distance. How about that? Alright, Link, you're going to stand here. Put the bird down. The bird. So rude. Yeah, you're going to hear that song a lot in this dungeon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Swirly camera. It's kind of cool. It reminds me of the camera angles used in the Matrix. Here we go. And... Push the buttons. Well done. Alright, now that you're finished here. Just jump down. She's fine. Hey, return. Sweet beans. Well, let's continue on. Basic cooperation puzzles. It's team building, you know? Help us work together more efficiently. Ding! Alright, you stay here. I'll go beat up the jellies. Got purple ones over there? Yeah, these are really new. Purple jellies. Take that. <gasps> Money! Excuse me, I'll pick up the money. So 
purple jellies are kind of different. We haven't interacted with them yet. Get out of here. So I'm just going to take care of their buddies first. Look at how many jellies he dropped. Three from one chew? Wow. His friend just dropped a one, like usual. Okay, we got some, uh... We got a pot here with wood on top. There's a fire arrow for that. Excuse me. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get hit by a jelly if I don't hit this in the next shot. Let's do this. There we go. You have to hit the edge of the wood. If you go above it or anywhere else, it'll just totally screw it up. So you try and hit these guys, and they kind of just poof. I don't really know what's going on there, but they, uh... They are not afraid of you, and they are pretty much immune to your sword. I don't think any of your other items are effective. I feel like I tried the hammer for a while when I was younger. That just stuns them, but doesn't really doesn't really do any damage. You see, they just they still just break apart. Uh, but I think the boomerang was another thing I tried. But yeah, you see, they turn to stone when they're exposed to light. Boomerang again, just stuns them, doesn't make them vulnerable to damage. Of course, once they're turned into stone, it's easy enough to pop them. Just pick them up and drop them. Drop it like it's hot. Pop, 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 watch the niggas drop. Bam. Huzzah. The door's open, and the chest appears, the chest appears, the chest appears. No, the chest is going to stay invisible because it probably holds a treasure chart and we'll have to come back and get it. Ugh, oh well. At the very- ooh! What are you doing? Hang on a second. Oh, here. Come here. Can you just stand... right there? Maybe? That's pretty close. You know what? Let's try this. I think we might be able to figure this out right now. I forgot Medley could even do this. She's more than just a sidekick. She's pretty much your partner for this bit. She's pretty useful, actually. And of course, she stands here and it's like, Whoa! Things are happening! Yeah, she takes out her shield. That's cool. So yeah, check out what it does. You can, you can direct the... or not her shield, but her... Uh, it looks like a shield because she carries it on her back all the time. Her instrument. Her harp. You can use it to beam the sunlight around and blow stuff up. So there you go, I broke some, uh... Can I just... Can I pick that up as medley? No, it just stays there. Interesting. But, you see, if you have a treasure chart, a treasure chest that's invisible, shine some light on it, and it decides it wants to stop being invisible. So we'll put that away. Oops, no, I wasn't trying to fly, I was trying to roll. Oh, I wish they'd let her... Oh, look, wow, she's good at jumping! <laughs> yes, jump inside. Patty cake, patty cake, because... Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's get back to Link. Because apparently the plot says that only Link is allowed to open chests and pick up magic bottles. Oh no, it's the dungeon map! Well, I figured that would be an optional item since it wasn't really, uh... Like... I don't know. It just seems like a strange place to put the dungeon map. I guess the first rooms are good places for them, but... I guess you're supposed to just figure that out right then and there. How that puzzle works. Now, what is this? Hmm... So it looks like... We have some more light beams, and we got a place that they might be shined. And we've got... okay, we've got a few things going on here. Alright, you... Medley, I need to, you to do something for me. So let's just get the dynamics of this down, so you guys can see what the heck's going on here. Firstly, shine the light at the eyeball, which is clearly what you're supposed to do. It oh, turns into a sun! That's cool. Now what you might not realize is if you hit return right now, she'll actually stand here and just hold it like this. She doesn't put it away. So, yeah, you see, you have to leave her there. Another thing is the smoke down here gets scared away by you shining your light in it. So if you leave Medley there, pointing the light, it, she will um, clear a path for you. Otherwise, the smoke has this magical property that makes you um, unable to use your items. Weird. 
Check, check it out. It's like, ooh. And now even though he's holding the hammer, I can't use it. And he just gets seriously dozy. Eyes oh, closed and stuff. You gotta go and walk in the light to clean yourself off. Alright, good work. Let's, let's see, that's locked. So I suppose this is the way to go, hey? Alrighty. I remember this room. Oh, I remember this room. Stay here, Medley. How do I want to do this? Bow? I think so. Either bow or boomerang, I believe, was best. What is... Oh, hello. Oh, boomerang does not work on him. Don't need an ice arrow. Just need a regular arrow. Oh, stand still. Why, why did I lose my luck? Boom! One shot, one kill. Pick up the money. Ding, ding. Okay. Oh, is this not the room I thought it was? What's this? It opens the door. And of course we have to leave somebody pushing it. Alright. Something else is happening over here. There's a ladder and a block. What's going on with this? Looks like we got some grooves on the floor. Can Link move this? Yes, he can. He's so strong now with those gloves. Or bracelets, I guess they were, in this game. Ah, there's a beam of light for us. I believe Medley knows what to do with that. So let's go ahead and take care of it. The command melody. <laughs> Just run over here. This. Now the weird thing about this, using the harp as a light reflect, as a mirror basically, is uh, ooh, we're flying, whatever, is that you don't, you don't push a certain button to do it, it's always a context sensitive thing. You can't, you can't take it out unless you're standing in a beam of light. Just sort of, meh. Got a small key, sweet, so it'll open the door that's in the other direction, whenever we get over there. You just hold that button for me please, I'm gonna go through this door. Oh. Bad luck. Okay, we can't do this without Medley here. Is she still there? Nope, she got eaten. Sure enough. Okay, yeah, this is why I don't like this room. You got these dudes. Come on! Come on! Come on! Alright, maybe he doesn't want to fight. Whatever. You want some? You want some? There you are. Get out of here. Those are your floor masters in this game. Nasty buggers. Hearts, magic, bombs. Why is it always bombs? Can you go through doors when I'm controlling you? I don't think she can. I feel like Link can leave the room, but that medley can't. Well, let's give it a try, at least. We'll put... Link on the button and try and send Medley through the door. Guarantee she won't be able to, but it's worth trying. And logically, that's, that's what you would do here. You just leave Link on the button and send Medley forward to solve the puzzle. But yeah, okay. sure enough, she can't open doors. Ah, sorry, only the main character can do those sorts of things. Whatever. So they just throw some more enemies in the room and tell you to leave, basically, because you can't solve the puzzle without Medley's harp. Okay, well at least we got the key out of it, so... So we can go through this door now. Sweet! Making progress. Ooh, go over there. Go over to the safe medley! Yeah, she's not a combat character, so... Don't try and use her to fight the choo-choos or anything like that. I feel like she just would lose health, and that's the same health bar that Link shares with her. Whenever she takes damage, their mutual health bar goes down. Not really sure how that works, but, you know. Oh, we got purple shoes. If that doesn't clue you in that there should be some light in this room for you, then I don't know what will. Anyway, we got buttons here. What do they do? Nothing much, it seems, unless you push both. Alright, we also have some banners on the walls. Look at that, there's some light shining through. Burn those up, yeah? What over here? Are you just banners on this, on this wall? 
I think the ones over here might be just for decoration. But now we got some light here, so I'm just gonna put Link where he's safe. I'll let you choose come over here to him. Come on, guys. I think actually once they're stone, you don't even have to throw them. Just jump the button. There you go. You just use the hammer. <laughs> oh, we don't get stunned forever now. Come on, get over here. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> wonder what the parry would have done there. It's not going to do damage to him. Alright, Link. Whoop, get the money. And push a button. And now... Yeah, we, we all know what's coming next. Gotta play the command melody again. Get Medley, come over here and push the other button. Fly, fly! Huzzah! The stairs are released, and it turns out you don't have to hold the buttons anymore after that. Oh no, yes you do. What? How do we... Hmm. Okay, well anyway, check this out. You don't have to, uh... You're gonna get frozen, dude. You don't have to wait for them to come over to the light. You can actually... Oh! Right! Got it! Derp derp. <laughs> Silly me. It's not a we-need-two-people thing. It's a we need two choo choos thing. Yes, they're not only enemies, but also puzzle elements. That's cool. So you use them to push the buttons and take your bird girl with you. And you. Oh, crap. They unfroze, you see, after a certain amount of time. So you are useless. I'm gonna crush you. I'm gonna put you on a button. If I can get over there. There we go. In the light, thank you. They were nice, and they put the light right next to the buttons for you. Okay, so once you got both of those pushed, take medley and head upstairs, yeah? Yep. I think... I don't really know how this helps, but we can push this block off the edge. Just if you feel like pushing blocks. Oh, that opens the door. I guess you probably should do that, then. Yeah, and watch out when they wake up, the stairs go away, so... There's no turning back. Oh, we got a floor master and some blocks to push, it looks like. But where's the light in this room? I don't see any. Oh, we're flying. Wasn't intentional, but we are. Come here. I don't want you getting sucked back to the gang of the dungeon or something. Go hide up there. Come on. Fight me! Oh, God. Lock a lock on, that's bad. If they grab you on the head like that, you got like a second to slash them before they suck you in and throw you back to the beginning of the dungeon. Good luck finding Medley after that. Okay, what am I doing here? I can't push that because there's a block on top. Because <laughs> there's a statue on top of it. Come on. You think I can't handle that? What am I doing here? Aha! Well then. All right. Time for Medley to do her thing. The puzzles in this temple are fairly well designed. There's one later on that's just awesome. It's, it's very memorable. It's one of the things I remember most about Wind Waker, actually. Besides the great amount of chart hunting that you have to do near the end. So that's one of the rooms in this temple that you remember. Poof! Get out of here. And now... Oops, no, no, hang on. Ugh. They put everything Medley does on the A button. Flying, using her shield. Calling it a shield because he wears it on her back, but it's a freaking harp. It's a magical shiny harp. It's a good thing she brought it too. And there you go, you have your first pot. We've already broken off the uh, top of the other half of this pot. So, it's all good. And then we've got, oh, hang on, one more thing to do here. This statue can be destroyed with light. Anything with that little swirly symbol on it is something you can break by shining light on it. However that works. Anyway, so now you have to grab this and drag it over here. Yeah, it's a pushing block puzzles. You know. Oh, where are you going? I think she's just trying to get out of the way, actually. That's kind of smart. Ooh, treasure. So that that was the optional one. That was the block that you had to remove the statue from on top of to push. I'm not sure if that's going to result in a treasure chart or a 
key or something. We'll see. There we go. That's what you have to do to open the door. Alright, Midley. You want to go up top? Fly up there. Thank you. I'll go ahead and open the chest, since you don't seem to know how. You see, Link can open chests, but Medley can jump over chests. So, you know, they all have their, they will, they will have their talents. Ah, oh, it's the compass. Okay, so that's the optional chest in this room. Alright, cool. Ooh, what? Hey! Hey! Poncho, do not worry about straying away from Medley in the depths of the temple. What? Just relax and open your dungeon map. As long as you have the compass, you can easily confirm her whereabouts. Oh, I see. Was she magnetic or something? How does that work? Huh. I guess I had some, Maybe it's just my animal magnetism. <laughs> Ugh, I'm sorry. Alright, let's continue. Oh, we got some enemies. Let's beat them up with a sword. What is that? Oh, it's some kind of weird ghost thing. What's happening here? Alright, whoa, hang on. What am I... Whoa. 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 Sound the whoa alarm. Alright, I'm, cl I'm climbing up here. I'm not interested in fighting all you guys at once. Instead, I need a bird girl to help. Those ghosts are an interesting enemy, that are in of course, unique to this temple. They incorporate the uh, puzzle elements of the temple as well. I'm just going to fly up nice and high so I can avoid those enemies. But, check this out. We don't have our own light beam to work with, so we'll have to use medleys. First off, we can break the statues over there. I think you only need to break one, just so you can get back to where the chest is. But, just because I like to, I'm going to break all three. Almost there. <laughs> Come on. Now, you can just shine the light on these guys. And... They don't seem to like it. Yeah, you see? They're like, ooh, they get all freaked out. They run around. First off, they drop their lanterns. And then they just... Puts about the room like that. Alright, so let's leave that, leave that light beam shining down there. Take out our sword. Link goes and slashes these guys. Get out of here. Oh, he went visible again already. Crap. <laughs> Two for one. And see, look, he runs right into the light beam, and sure enough, it's defeated. It's just where the cookie crumbles, you know. And of course, this is one of those rooms where you have to defeat all the enemies for the door opens. That's what opens the door. Give me the heart. Thank you. Money and skull necklaces. Ah, uh, fighting moblins for fun and profit. Mostly profit. So many rupees. No, oh, Mr. Mr. Arrows. Oh, well. whoops! I don't want this. Not what I was trying to do. I was trying to roll. Just because I'm impatient. Let's go up here, and get the chest! A joy pendant. Why? Why a joy pendant? What am I, what am I even supposed to do with joy pendants at this stage of the game? Like, if you've gotten this far and you haven't turned in all the joy pendants yet? Really? I mean, really. Yeah, sorry about that, I had to fix my screensaver. And look down here, you see there's a... a part of the wall that certainly, because of that symbol being on it, you can destroy with light, but there's no way to get the light from that beam to that part of that wall. So it's sort of a puzzle! Imagine that, right? We don't have a key, so we're not going through that door. The number of skulls sitting out here makes me think we have a mini-boss in the next room or something. I don't really remember what's in there, though, so I guess we'll find out. Alright, Medley, come on. You don't have to stand at stock still like that anymore. Good work. Not what I wanted you to do, but still cool. Let's go this way. What have we got here? Oh, this room. Oh, stay up here. Alright, here goes. <laughs> Hard mode activate. We got re-deads. Looks like oh hello. There's a key in this coffin. Alright, you got a small key, you just open doors. I guess that's why we're here. Sweet. And then over here, we got some money. Yeah. Wanna knock that ladder down for me? Come here. Come here, ladder. Alright, I think I know what I have to do. Check this shit out. 
<laughs> and Link's just like, oh my god! Yep, that's what Redads do. They stun you like that. If you lock onto them, of course, you can see their health meter. Oh! The jump attack is a great way to break through that scream. If you're already in mid-animation for it, they can't stop you. The thing with these particular Redads is that they stand really close to their uh, coffins that, they're, that they just came out of, and they keep hitting your sword against them when you're trying to take them out. So be careful for that. Ooh, 20 rupees. Man, actually, that guy gave me a full, like, 40 rupees. Because that was... Oh, both of them, dude. Dude, that's great. Oh, get it, get it! Oh, yes! Nice, that was profit right there. Man. Good stuff, good stuff. Didn't, didn't need to bring Medley in here, but still. Be better to have her here, and she can just watch, rather than uh, need her help and not have her around. All right, unlocking more doors. Whoop! Why did you? Oh, I was right about the mini boss thing. Let's do this. Victory at last! Let's see what, oh, ouch. Let's see what we got. You got the mirror shield! Its shiny surface reflects beams of light. Hold R to shield and use the thumbstick to aim its direction. Alright. Sweet!